Good morning, my little peepskies. It's Raggedo7 with you guys. And I'm doing Jasmine's tag today. If I seem kind of stupid, more, more stupid than normal, it's because I took some allergy medicine. It's supposed to be non-drowsy, but I'm like falling asleep. So this is kind of keeping me awake. All right. Question number one. Yes or no? Um... Do you have a YouTube friend that you would go off on a date with? Well, being that I'm not single, um, but if I was single, yes. Yeah, I would. But everybody lives so far away that it really doesn't even matter. So, unless you want to call like a romantic evening on uh, Google Plus or Skype. Yeah, and people do do that. Whatever. Okay, question number two is what does it mean to have courage courage is standing up for what you believe in going against the um opposition uh going against um the normal and speaking your mind you know um i've had so many people try to shut me up on some things that i'm very passionate about and you know that's okay because I don't need those people in my life, and I don't want those kind of people in my life that want to tell me how to live my life. So, that's how that works. Three is, what does, what is the one cause you feel most passionate about? I definitely would say a cause, a human rights cause, and my cause is um, medical cannabis, as you guys know. Now, I do no longer associate with the big groups of, you know, the legalizing guys, and, um, because, I mean, if you really want to know the truth, I do more education by myself than with somebody trying to censor everything I do, or shush me, or whatever, okay, because I'm done. I'm just done with that. I don't have time for it. And, uh, well, anyways, I, I don't want to talk about that right now because uh, I could get myself into trouble. Question number four is, when you go off for a few days, do you miss being at home? Of course I do. Uh, I miss my cat a lot. If I leave, even if it's like an overnight thing, I miss my cat and I miss my bed and I miss my computer and... Um, I usually miss Matt. <laughs> well, actually, Matt's a given, so whatever. Um, yes, I do. I miss my place, my home. Question number five is, if you could write your own rights, what would you include in your life? I do write my own rights. Now, that may sound kind of arrogant, but I believe in human rights. I think that I... Um, I... I do what I want to do, and I really don't care what anybody thinks or says or does. Um, does not mean that I'm an arrogant person. Does not mean that I'm that bullheaded that I don't bend, and I can listen to other people's opinions and learn from them, and perhaps maybe it would change my mind, but I am very bullheaded. Once I might be are planted in the ground, I cannot be moved. No. Um, so I am my own rights. And, um, you know, I think that our rights right now of a country is pretty, it's going to get down to the point where it's nothing. But that is if you want to follow your government. And I don't choose to follow my government. You know, they're, they're not my creator. They're not the ones who uh, gave me life. They helped me sustain life, I guess you could say. But, um... They don't give me life. I give me life. God make, gives me life. Um, actually, God gives me life. I don't have anything to do with it. But anyway, uh, yes, I wrote my own, and I do what I want to do. As long as no one gets hurt, um, nobody's you know disrespected without cause. <laughs> then, you know what? Live your life. Just live your life. Seriously. I'm so sick of these people go, but the government, but this, but the, no, no. Are you happy? Probably not. 
um, if you're acting like this, probably not happy. But what makes a person happy is is living that their life to the fullest and doing what they want to do. And if they screw up, they can correct it. You know, as long as your heart is beating and you're breathing, you have time to change things. And um, a lot of times that sometimes people get a, a scare in life. And it's like, wait a minute. I need to start living for God and I. Because really, anybody else that tries to tell you is irrelevant. Irrelevant. Yeah, there we go. Uh, sorry about that. I took some allergy cold stuff today. And it's making me really loopy. But my ears are popping and I'll be able to hear. So I'm very happy. And this stuff is just it's awesome and it's generic. Yay! Okay. So I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, we like generic because it's cheaper. And, you know, I please don't nanny me, okay? Because the stuff works, and it allows me to be able to do the things I need to do in life. So, you know, that's something I got I to gotta say this, okay? Is a lot of people are like, well, you know, there's all these herbal, 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 herbal. And um, I'm actually allergic to a lot of the things that are medicinal like herbal age wise and um, I cannot take anything with orris root I cannot take anything with rose hips I cannot take anything with hops probably why beer makes me feel like um, ugh, yuck my face feels like it's blowing up okay I just do not like the feeling and I don't like beer no <laughs> by the way look up uh, what is it Venus 13 or something like that. There's a song called Beer. Seriously. Matt and I laugh about it because she is like this little, it's like this punk band with this kid singing in it. She's not a kid anymore, but uh, this little kid singing it and she's like, I don't like beer. <laughs> beer is bad for you. It's hilarious. But listen for it. Just put in Venus Beer. Okay. You'll probably come up with it. It is, it's an absolute riot. So, okay, you guys, I'll talk to you soon. Peace be with you. I love you. God loves you. And talk to you soon. Bye-bye.